The door is right over there, Jada. No one's forcing you to be here. Uh, welcome in. Jail time. All right, good afternoon. I have awoken after a lovely 13 hour stream yesterday. Just a casual 13. Apparently I either moved my camera or I need to put it up to me moving my camera. Happy time zone. Uh, <laughs> I did check it, but we'll see if it gets disabled again. And it didn't give me a save option when I checked it, so I don't really know if it actually saved or not. Uh, all right, I'm just checking a few things still. I'm gonna add the Discord. What I was forgetting. Next day two. Uh, I mean, it's 11.22 my time. Got, I thought about waking up and streaming earlier but I'm like, I stream 13 hours a day. I can just sleep until my normal stream time and we can just go. Make it normal. Uh, we're gonna try to focus more on being faster today and less getting distracted because I felt like I got really distracted yesterday for good reason, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely need to start sleeping days. We're gonna get the Ginger Island soon. And then once we're on Ginger Island, we can start doing random stuff again. I need to start making money. So I really should force a... Uh... I need to start getting Monster Musk. I need to start checking the bulletin board to get Monster Musk here soon. I also need to get to the bottom of the mine still. <laughs> it's so weird having Iridium and not being at the bottom of the mines because of the event. That part's weird. It definitely is a speed walk. It took me nine hours to complete the CC, which is really dumb. Alrighty. Uh, let's get right back into this from where we left off. Uh, okay. So we got the hero trophy. Which is good. Just gonna put it in my uh, corner over there. Apparently I'm getting game lag for whatever reason. Uh, you know, yesterday somebody said something and I really wanted to try it. Apparently if you put a fish in here and then empty pond. Oh, okay. I guess that's better. 
So you don't have to fish them out manually. They used to just delete the item. I thought there was like a funny animation. Somebody said something funny happens. Um. Alright, we still need a few more skills. I'm assuming this Junimo is the missing bundle. I gotta go five more floors. Uh, we gotta wait for missing bundle to happen, even though I'm not gonna do it for a little bit. Um, we need a few levels. Not too far away, though. We got a lot of books to go. Um... Of how that automatically met almost everybody. Interesting. Uh, ooh, this is a nice fall map. Uh, all right. Let's see what resources I actually have. I have four batteries. I have six batteries. I have five iridium bars, so I just need a 200 hardwood now. Me about to go to the left side of the farm thinking that there's hardwood over there. Oh, I also need to get the... Uh, I guess I'm probably just going to skip the greenhouse at this point. Oh, probably gonna have to end up mega bombing a lot of this. I still don't know how I get up to Grandpa's Shrine, by the way. I haven't found, like, a, a way up there. <laughs> I have no idea how to get to it. The bridge right below a hardwood stump. Is that what do you mean? Okay. I just have not seen that. Yeah, I need 200 hardwood, and then uh, we can get to Ginger Island pretty easily f from now. Must admit the the hardwood placements on this map is a little weird. They're not in like what I would consider conventional uh areas in this game. That's obviously fine. Uh, so we're 109. I have that already. Uh... It's some tree family thing, but I don't know how it's activated yet. Probably figure that out later. Ew, okay.
Surely we'll get it soon then. Booksellers today. You have the run fast grass book. I have both of them. Yes, I'm running at uh basically plus two point five move speed right now. It's super nice. Doge has been terminated. Waiting for a rain day. Um, Book of Stars is always a thing. Uh, I may as well, because I'm probably going to need to get them all. Uh, I'm going to ignore that for now. I'll Chupa, thank you for the Prime for six months. Lots of XP is what we need. These books now? Yes. It's a bookseller. Every... The books give special powers. So mo most of the like unique ones are found throughout the land it feels like by doing just random things and then there's also uh xp books like the fishing ones and mining ones give 200 xp or all like the xp books give 250 xp each when you, you read them the main ones that i'm looking for are forging xp books because forging uh was nerfed I used to just use a bunch of uh fall or a bunch of summer seeds to get uh forging XP. But unfortunately, uh forge that you now grow only give two XP instead of seven, so they kinda gutted it. So one of those books reading one of the forging books is the equivalent of harvesting uh what? 125 uh forge for like anywhere between 5 and 10k it's like fine i don't really need the money right now no but i mean there's more crafting recipes there's more cooking recipes there's more fish so i would say the Uh, yeah, so it did increase, just not in the way that most people think it would. You know, I love how I bought the Lux Speed Grow, and I'm just not using it. Because I have been an idiot and just not buying pumpkins on the right days. Does cooking give you forging XP? I do not know. That was a change. Yep, thank you for the prime. Okay, apparently I just got that power without trying. I didn't realize I had maple syrup on me. <laughs> This is the sucky part of not going forest farm. <laughs> like, I can only get so much hardwood a day. And it's such a trip. This is why forest farming is literally just the best farm in the game and there's no comparison. 
Gives you so much extra forge. It gives you more hardwood. Gives you more daily and closer hardwood. You don't really care about the low farming space because it's enough first off and second off. Uh, uh, you get to Ginger Island in the greenhouse and it completely subsidizes it. Tenka could be useful. Yeah, I don't know how to... Cr I, ha I don't have the crafting recipe for it, so I don't know how to get it in masses. Would be more of the issue. Why not go to the main secret woods? Because it sucks. <laughs> I am going to it, but you get so much wo more wood so much quicker on the left side of your farm. The main secret woods is way too slow. That's the hamburger thing for the prime. Hello, Pete. That's more of what I'm pointing out. Like, the secret woods is just slow and painful. Because you have to run all the way down to it and then run all the way back up, and it's super slow. Forging level 8? Well, yeah, guess what? I'm not forging level 8. Wild. How is the grass blue? It's unique to this farm. It makes animals happier, even though I haven't utilized it whatsoever. Now I moved the coop. Right next to my house now. There's nothing in it, but I moved the coop, yes. The new farm is very pretty, but it's honestly pretty bad <laughs> in terms of uh, usefulness. I stopped caring about the animals that I had in it within like the first the first season. Like, once you run out of the 15 hay, like, there's no point of dealing with the animals anymore. Not worth buying more hay. Not worth the time investment. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I think the farm is very pretty. It's just not... The silo won't even fix it because you still have to go in the coop every day and hand, and put the hay in. Everybody's used to the auto feeder from the deluxe coop. You don't get that. You gotta hand feed them for a while. Which is very painful and slow to having to go in and pet them every day. Yeah, the the forest farm is just an absolute anom a, anom anomaly in this game. Like, it's hands down the best farm in the game, and there's really no good comparison. The only farm that otherwise gets use is the beach farm, and that's just because of the supply crates can be very niche and useful. And then the standard farm for its massive cr er, farming space, but that's like only min max. The rest of the farms are just done for aesthetics. I guess mining also has like a niche or two. 
if you really need like s the starting uh, or copper resources before day whatever before day five yeah I mean, Endgame's not really annoying because you don't really care about the crop spaces on your farm. You're just using Ginger Island for that. I'm sure eventually this farm. <laughs> I mean... The only, the only main category speedrun that I could see it ever used for is for a marriage run. It will be worse for mines. It's worse for community center. It's worse for missing bundle. It's, uh, yeah, it's worse for both of the mines. It's worse for the, all the like restoration categories. So the only thing left is marriage. It would have to be a very specific marriage candidate. It wouldn't even be the fastest one, which is Shane. Because Shane's fastest patch is uh, like 1.3 or an early version of 1.4. I forgot when he removes the dressers. Uh, where you can get two watering cans. allow us to water much quicker. Uh, merit, Alex, Merit, Jesus, uh, thing. Yeah, there, there, it's, I, I think, like, it, it's probably the prettiest farm. Like, I I've been saying that. It it's probably the prettiest farm. Don't get me wrong. It's just not going to find a use in competitive Stardew, if you want to call it that. <laughs> not going to find a use. It'd be good for Pantry. Pantry is done with the remix bundles to specifically remove animals because of how slow they are. Uh, so no. <laughs> and I sure love giving getting my 12 hardwood a day from the secret woods. It's so good. If I have one mahogany tree grow up, it's the equivalent of a secret woods day. I feel like after early game... Well, I mean, to be fair, that's how I play most of the farms. After early game, like, literally, the only differences between all the farms, realistically, is how easy does it make early game. Because after that, it doesn't matter because I don't do any farming on the farm. I always just do it all on Ginger Island. So the farm that makes it the easiest to get to endgame is the forest farm. This one's pretty mid. I won't say it's the easy... Uh, yeah, it's not the easiest, but it's definitely not the hardest. Beach is probably the hardest, followed by Riverland. And then it's probably... It's probably this and combat are, like, basically equal. Actually, probably it's combat, then this, because combat doesn't really give any benefits. Combat, this, uh, mining, four corners, and then forest. Yes. 
Nice duck feather. Nice truffle. That's a yeah, that's a god cart. Holy fuck. Unfortunately, the cart RNG changes kind of kills. Uh oh, I mean, it, for for regular CC, if you're not remixing the bundles, it will remain on 1.5. I think Piano is trying to do some remix bundle route on 1.6, which could in theory be faster, but that's just how remix bundles work. But the main issue is the cart. Even with legacy RNG, the cart RNG is still updated. So uh, our 35% or 37.5% chance of getting a puffer fish is just gone on this patch. So we'd have to manually catch the puffer fish. Even if we can skip some cutscenes. Uh, so crate RNG is uh, seed based now, which doesn't change with legacy. So we're not guaranteed a club on 24. We can technically get a club on earlier floors from the crates, but we're not, we don't have that floor 24 club anymore. Dapper is also level four. Yee. Unfortunately for unremix CC, uh, one one point six is probably dead. If piano gets a route with uh, remix CC working, then it could be interesting. But obviously, we have will yet to see. It's so weird going to Ginger Island. Or about to go to Ginger Island with literally, like, I'm on level 105 of the mines. And I'm, I'm planning on going to Ginger Island here. Huh? Huh? That's not normal. It still aren't seed dependent. I thought they were. I can see RNG has club on floor five day six. Interesting. I thought it was uh Okay, I guess that's not as bad then, but Uh, we're with gas. Yeah, we are very interesting run so far. I feel like I'm getting to Ginger Island too early for how far I'm into this, or for how prepared I am. I'm going to go get water real quick before my throat kills myself. Seven boobles. You should do Meadowlands, experience a new farm. Of course. It's not a terrible farm. Again, I'm very I'm being very nitpicky about it because of speedrunning. Nothing else. The only reason I'd be nitpicky about it. Wonder if I got any new bobbers. Oh lol. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. There's somebody I gotta do the ducky bobber.
25th. Uh, most of the speedruns are worse on current patch. So no. I get iridium. There's a new desert festival, and it automatically unlocks Skull Cat or it unlocks Skull Caverns for the three days while you're there. So I did Skull Caverns on those three days. What about the Joja Perfection route? It only costs fifty million. I'm aware of that, but I'm choosing not to do anything with Joja. Why not do Skull Caverns now? Because it's not unlocked anymore. It's only unlocked during those festival days, and I'm only on floor 105 of the mines. It's not it's not unlocked forever. It's unlocked for those three days. I finished the mines because I don't really need to go back into Skull Caverns right now. I don't have that much of a need. I wait for my, uh, got in the way what's the new festival it's a desert there's technically three there's one in the desert in spring and then there's a trout derby in summer and then a squid fest in winter they kind of work all like the night market where it's like a two or three day period what year is this two I don't have any gold quality stuff, do I? I could probably still win it. Battery. Gold. Gold. Uh. This will give more than that. Monster loot. Five. Cooking. Fish. The hell? Oh wait, I was about to say where the hell is my prismatic, but I traded it in. Uh, emerald is the best we're gonna get. No artisan good. No high priced artisan good. Oh my bad. Oh honey is not great. I really don't have any other better than that. 
this. Display, yeah. I'm being dumb about this. Really, I don't have any high-priced artisan good. Progress is probably the best I have. Unlucky. Duck mayo. Ah, oh, I guess maybe duck mayo probably sells for the most. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, just any. For quality vegetable, probably fine. How much does it sell for? One fifty. Good. I mean, I can craft them, I think. Yeah. Kind of expensive. I don't really want to spend 120 wood and two copper. I'm not gonna lie. Oh yeah, I was expect this run to take uh thirty. Thirty-ish. Maple trees lose. Yeah, it looks like it. Or some of them do. I mean, this is a maple tree. Is it hard to tell where the cutoff for the screen, uh, screen transition is now? That's on the new update? It's great. Uh, I plan to stream however long I feel like streaming. Really no plan. When is there ever a plan for this stream? Uh, probably. I don't know how you'd get around though. Hey, you removed the loading time. Anything new in the shop here? Prize tickets. Oh, that's kind of cute. Oh, this has changed. Ah, uh, he made an animal display up here instead of, like, that cooking area. I mean... Ah, uh, you still can't shift-click things up here. It's lame. Also, this was moved. It used to be over there. These are all closer, too. Oh, this was moved over here. Interesting. Interesting. Is it at festivals now? Yeah, I know. Do you think he fixed the green-orange wheel? Fixed? I guess, I guess it was probably by design. Be fair.
Unlucky. Can I not get a wheel that just spins forever? I'm about to go play the fucking slingshot minigame. All in yellow. Uh, I don't know what the actual odds are. Green Rain's a summer thing. Yeah, I just gotta do it just to see if it's changed. Not bad. Easy 500 star tokens.
I found? No, I think I heard it's in the wizard's basement, but I can do that later. I don't have access to it, and I'm not going to gift him anything. Alexis, thank you for the 15 gifted subs. Enjoy your bonjours. I'm waiting for these pumpkins to grow up, by the way. And then I'll go to Ginger Island. I want to be able to move all the sprinklers. The Ginger Island is kind of just what I'm waiting on. to bring like everything over uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll bring the resources later I don't need them right now me though guess you Big chest. How big is big chest? That looks so weird to look at. Place is big, yeah. Uh, Chibi, thank you for the 10 gifted subs as well. White. Asian guy, thank you for the prime. Bake off stand, thank you for the prime. Uh, yeah, brighter yellow, thank you for the tier one. Really appreciate it. Or thank you for the twenty five. Alright guys, it's chat cat jam time. Ah shit. I don't need this warp anyways. Hey for level five hype train. It is graciously appreciated. I gotta read the mail.
And now I can enter the back room. Launch the speedruns changed with the addition of 10 kits. This this speed run would be the only run to ever get enough money to get a tank or to get enough foraging level. Oh, I love how he changed the map here too. It actually looks like it's autumn here. Also, you still can't skip this cutscene. All cutscenes are skippable. Uh, so none. You just won't ever reasonably in any run other than perfection obtain a tank kit. Uh, for perfection speedruns, <laughs> we might find some use cases. Might not. We'll see. The biggest one I can think of is like Ginger, or is, uh, not Ginger Island. Uh, any timer? What is the word that I'm trying to look for here? Wow, this has so much, like, room. It's so weird. Uh, Skull Caverns. You, just, you can just put it right next to Skull Caverns and wake up the next day there. Uh... Three tank kits. Interesting. We we're just speaking about tank kits. I wonder if there's any more like hidden boxes on Ginger Island as well. Uh. Uh, Bonki, Blue Shadow Wolf, Haki, Haka, thing for the Prime, as well. Yes, they're single use. And I think you get them at forging level 9. I guess it's nice for Ginger Island, but it's like I'm used to being able to get all the walnuts for the Ginger Island house on the first day, so. I knew I was forgetting something. For 10k. Uh, I'm refraining from buying anything because you can just buy perfection for 50 million and that would just be really easy to do. That's just boring. Uh, Sturkey Turkey, thank you for the tier one for 13. Uh, yeah, thank you for the... I should have brought more back with me since I actually came back. Sturkey Turkey, thank you for the Prime, and Kaz, thank you for the Prime as well. Slingshot. I haven't even picked it up from the chest yet, so I can't even pick that up if I want to. Buying golden walnuts, 1.18 million, okay.
Is really just one million to find every single walnut? That's like insanely cheap. Or does it go down per walnut? Found. It probably goes down per walnut found. Uh, this one currently. Per walnut. Wait, it's one million per walnut? Never mind, that's not cheap. Yeah, one mil is not expensive in this game. Oh, did he? Oh, oh, he finally added a gold node type for this map. Oh, so this is definitely a new mines layout. I don't think I've ever seen this. I won't pay the bird. Skill issue purchase option, honestly. Seven damage. It's actually not that bad. Wow, there really are cold nodes now. People were asking forever for it, and he finally gave it to us. I don't have G hammer, which kind of sucks. I have burglar's ring, so this probably these guys probably aren't really worth killing. Kind of hope I get one of the clubs. I know he made combat slightly easier in this patch with being able to hit enemies downwards more consistently, but it really feels so much nicer and easier. Guys later, I don't know why I'm fixated on it. Not burglar's ring, there's no point of uh trying to say hi to those guys. Is there a special rock that drops a walnut? Uh, no. Every rock just has a slight chance of dropping a walnut. Based off of its tile location. At least that used to matter. The coal, the coal nodes are definitely interesting. I feel like I'm taking less damage than normal, but I guess I have the... The, uh, but it's plus one damage or plus one defense. It really doesn't matter. Woo! Fucking useless ass sword. Get that shit out of here. Club is better in every way. Button. Yeah, 
Need a rare chest still. I don't know how uh, worth it's been breaking all these nodes. Connection ring. I wonder if any of the rings got buffed. Like Soul Sapper and Vampire. And I can't walk over there. I have to blow that up. Nice, we got rare chest as well. Or made boots? Wow. The dragon's tooth. So the issue is, is I'm probably eventually going to want Infinity Gavel, but I just want to upgrade this now so I don't have to pay for the... for it now. I wonder if he fixed the... bottomless exploit. Or if you put this in here with the prismatic. No. I can get... I will get bottomless if I enchant that right now. Artful killer. Apparently, I put my rubies away. Unlucky. I'll be back tomorrow, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna need to find more prismatics. Is it, you can enchant with dragon seed, though? Oh, what does Dragon's Teeth do? It was highlighted. Go back. Now I gotta make sure I get the house upgrade. <laughs> I'll be I'll be back in it tomorrow. Don't worry. I do not have level ten in all skills. No. I can't open up Dwarf Shop. I don't. I can't. I don't speak language. Does it re-roll? It re-rolls the enchantment, not the ruby stuff, right? It's actually really good, then. Then I don't need nearly as many prismatic shards. No. But if you can reroll with Dragon's Teeth, that makes it a lot easier. You don't need nearly as many Prismatics to brute force it. If you're wondering why I'm in this menu, it pauses time, but this minigame still goes off, so I don't waste time. I'm pretty 50-50 on whether I get that first try or not. I felt like that last pattern was pretty easy, though, so I kind of got bailed out. Nice diamond. White overalls. I normally wear that, but I am honestly 
really digging the leotard right now. I must admit. Aw, my pants not on me. So pass gives defense, yes. Here we go. Eh. Isn't it the same thing? I wonder how much easier they he actually made it to get this. Miss Bush, not right a birdie. I always miss that one, Piano. <laughs> I always miss it. It's fine. Not too concerned. I always end up finding it later. Yeah, uh... Yes and no. It's given it since like 1.2. But it wasn't in the base game, no. It was not in the base game, but it's been in the game for a very long time. Uh, I should have... Uh, I didn't want to till that just in case if I got the thing the next day, but apparently I should have just tilled it. me or is my game like does it feel like bombs are so much more quiet now i feel like my game sound is messed up every time i place one it made me feel like my game sound is messed up because i just do not hear them They are much quieter. I kind of dislike it. Like, I understand turning them down, but I think they're way too quiet now. Wait, how the hell did I get snake vertebrae? What drops snake vertebrae now? <laughs> You can just hoe the ground for it. That's so... That's... 
I know it said easier. To be fair, I, I didn't really think it was hard to begin with. But... It was more not... Uh... Like, you had to be very specifically aware of how to get them. Otherwise, they would be a pain. No, bombing wor worms just destroy them. I also thought you couldn't get snake vertebrae until you talk to the or talk to Professor Snail. I need to go buy uh, star fruit soon, but I also need to go buy coffee, so I'll probably just do that today. Since I don't have uh, ancient fruit just yet. I've been too lazy about getting ancient fruit going, so I kind of just... Thought. Good eat.
Alrighty, how much do we have crafted of everything? So I can do math. We have 27 quality. Thirty times four plus twenty-seven times eight. We need three hundred and thirty-six. Uh. Uh, I should buy coffee and salads. Alright. How much do I have left over? 336 times 400 is 130,000. I can buy coffee and salads today. That's fine. This is much easier. Is the bookseller today? No, it's the 25th. I struggle with it when I'm doing it in an area for the first time, like... <laughs> I've never, uh... Placed down a basic sprinkler pattern there. I was trying to figure out how I wanted to do it. Make it not look bad. That's good. I need 336. According to my sister's excitement, her interview went well. He's moving on to round two. No question, but does the desert festival just ruin tree furnaces or whatever? Uh, normally, festivals like that is a different sprite map, so it will remove... So, if you have anything on the beach and the and the night market comes you, the items won't be on the beach but as soon as the night market ends the items will be back because it uses a different sprite map or like yeah if, if that makes sense Uh, not level 10 of everything. Nope. I still got a decent amount of XP to go. Uh, it's a greenhouse is the better way of looking at it.
Not that. We're gonna need to get Topper soon. It's all right. So weird to hold down X. Oh, I misplanted one. It's so weird to hold down X while moving with how I use Wazda. Probably just rebind it as something easier, to be quite fair. Apparently I miscounted, and I thought I had more, but that's fine. Place them anywhere, right? No. Um. I haven't really gotten to utilize it yet. So I can't really say. It's probably a bigger tree farm than I'll need, but it's fine. I kind of doubt moss grows on the island, though. It's kind of just like one of those things. Where do you get three tents? It was just in the jungle area. Okay, well, I should do the one thing that I'm trying to do. Need that. Apparently, I don't have the rubies anymore. I want to make... Let me try the Dragon's Teeth reroll thing, because if I can get Artful this early, that would be super beneficial. Artful is kind of broken. I should check the bullets and board this week 
for a prismatic slime quest as well. Apparently I put my watering can away. The spot on the ground did, yes. Five hundred scrap or five hundred gold for the extra book isn't that bad. See, those haven't changed. I should make the uh, glow ring soon. be thick. Uh, it's a specialty book or a powers book. I don't really know what the official terminology is. It gives you plus one defense permanently. You can only activate it once and I've gotten multiple of them now. You can trade them in. You can either sell them apparently for uh, 500 gold or you can trade them in for something at the bookseller which I'll probably go and visit on 25th the same day that I go and check that quest. Um... I still need monster musk. I need to get the burglar's ring soon. Actually, I guess I'll probably wait until danger mines for that. Only sucky part about not having the burglar's ring right now is uh, it really sucks to farm cinder shards. You know, I wonder how the game reacts to getting... Like, what happens if I open up the... What happens if I open up the nut room, get the danger in the deep quest, and I'm not even on floor 120 yet? Uh, theoretically, yes. It's a lot easier now that we have access to uh, Skull Caverns consistently. Uh, the new one, uh, spring. The desert one's spring. There's also a new one in fall and, uh, another one in winter. The Trout Derby and Squid Fest. I realistically don't need anything from these common chests. Not a bait for me to open. Ain't gonna lie.
I honestly think the bombs are way too quiet now. So I feel like everything just does so much less damage, but I guess I have mermaid boots on. That's probably part of their reason. Kinda spoiled. Combat XP level up. I want artful. I don't want this shit. <laughs> that chest. I want fucking artful. I, I don't want this shit. I want artful. What slime gatherer, slime slayer? I want artful. So does like slime auto collect to me or something? That's I don't see the bonus like I'm getting a lot more slime. I'm getting a lot more slime. That's a lot of slime. Huh? Hmm. It didn't seem like I was doing more damage to slimes, but I guess I was. I was high rolling. I don't think the bonus is very much. I'll need more prismatics, I guess.
I mean... I'd like to keep Slime Slayer. I just don't want Slime Gatherer. The Slime Slayer will help for uh, killing the slimes in Skull Cavern Slayer. Uh, perfection speed run. <laughs> the goal is to obtain perfection as fast as possible using uh, no none of the money route shenanigans. Um... If you don't know what perfection is, you should play the game more. <laughs> Basically, the best explanation I can give you. Uh, yes. No one's decided yet because no one knew about it until literally yesterday. Let's just make a decision in half a day. That's a great idea. Came out yesterday, so. Now I'm trying. Normally, I only try to get like an X amount of dragon seed, but now I want more. <laughs> yeah, that definitely does extra damage, so. I want to see what other enchants you can get from it. Hopefully, I won't need more water. <laughs> War her. I'm kind of using the volcano mines as like a scuff way to gather resources without having to pay for it. I 
wonder how much XP a gold node gives. I'm sorry, a cold node, not gold. Gold, gold nodes give uh, Feels bad wasting so many uh, dragon teeth though. For experimentation here, but. For the cause. <laughs> I was thinking about the sporting. Probably the first video I'll make of 1.6 is like how to get the most amount of calico eggs during the festival. And it's literally just going to be me doing a deep dive, getting to floor like 500. King in depth strategy guide. Yep. Oh, you can't put more on it? Oh, that's so weird. I'm going to have to look into how that works. Well, I mean, there's the disenchant button, but I don't want to get rid of my enchant plus uh, uh, the rubies, so I don't want to click it. So I think you want to do the dragon's teeth first before anything else. Unless if it's like set for what you get for the two dragon's teeth. I don't really know. Uh... Mm. 
You do, but you don't get it full. You get like half. Extra item. Takes 120 wood and two copper bars. Um, alright. 25th is book day, right? 25th. Uh, so that's what wild bait turned into. Linus's wild bait is, uh, it's probably the same. You catch it at the same rate as the new wild bait recipe, but you have a chance of, uh, getting double fish with his. So it's, I guess that makes sense. That's probably a fine change. There we go. It's jelly day. What do books got? What books do we got? Oh, I forgot to bring the other book. Don't need, don't need. Like that. Are useless. Jack o' lantern. Cute. All right, let me check for slime infested real quick. Uh, no, nah, I'm not gonna. Uh, I mean. I got burglar's ring at some point, just not now. Oh, you wanna know? Oh my god. I just realized why all the enemies are so easy. I have all three dwarf scrolls. <laughs> wait, wait, this might become meta. Holy shit. So, for those who don't know, when you reach floor 120, all monsters gain a 2x uh, HP bonus. So, they have double HP. I haven't reached floor 20 yet. And I'm on Ginger Island, so the monsters are fucking piss easy. That's why everything felt so weak. <laughs> Because you can just get to Ginger Island so easily now. With the uh, with the spring festival. You just go down there and then you never go to floor 120 until you have to. Wait a minute. Alright, we have no slime infested, so. Prismatic slime. Reset time. Wait. How easy will the danger and the deep quest be then if those monsters don't have the bonuses? 
You do, you, you just never go to floor 120. Just never go to floor 120. Do all the monster eradication goals when they're weak as hell. <laughs> Wait a minute. It's not like I really need to go to Skull Caverns for anything else. I probably route around. I try, I'm trying to like think of a route as I do this. For those wondering, we're just resetting floors for prismatic jelly. Every slime you see has a low chance of becoming a prismatic jelly. And the reason we choose floor five is because you can only get three different monsters, three different monster types to spawn on floor five, and slimes are by far the most common. So unless if there's like a slime infested floor, this is the best floor to uh, reset on. So you would go to like, so you would probably only go to floor 80 and, and or no, you go to floor 100 or whatever, just so you can like have easier resets. Um, so you do that, never go to it. You get to, you probably just try to make money with greenhouse and everything in like the first few years. Uh, abuse greenhouse for a while, make money, and then you're gonna do your first Skull Caverns dive probably year, th year three in spring during the festival. And that's how you get all your iridium or whatever. And then you repair in year three. And then you kind of just do the the old route in a lot of ways. I feel like. Uh, for the There's a new festival in spring that is revolved around the Skull Caverns. And for whatever reason, CA just decided to have that permanently unlocked during the festival. So, uh, you can go to Skull Caverns on those three days, which I did, and I got a bunch of Iridium. Well, a bunch. I got like 40 or whatever, which is enough to do what I needed to do, which was to get to Ginger Island and make a few Crystallariums. That's all I need it for. I should have probably checked the daily luck. Let me go do that right now. Yes, weaker enemies make doing eradication much easier because then it it probably means I can one shot royal serpents uh a hell of a lot easier, which is generally like the worst part of the run is to killing these serpents. Oh, nice ancient seed. That's very helpful. Oh no, it's a good luck time. For the prismatic slime uh, spawn chance is uh, very much dependent on daily luck. Oh, uh, you know, I should probably run around and uh, do this quest line real quick. Now that it's noon. How many days would I need for eradication? Uh, a few. So you'd have to do it on the three spring days or whatever. To do the Skull Caverns quest. You are right. I didn't think about it on that angle. Huh. Be interesting to route around. It's possible, but pain. Yeah, you would need a monster floor, floor one.
forgot about that aspect of it. Hmm. Because then you can't have it hard mode. But I guess, I think last perfection run, I figured out that hard mode is grief for serpents. The spawn rate, well, I mean, but, okay. So, right, as of currently, uh, with the old route, it was actually best for us not to do serpents in hard mode skull caverns. Purely because of the fact that uh, the serpents had so much HP and you just took so much damage that you wasted so much time eating. But, um, but if you can have Skull Cavern Invasion, during it, when they're weaker, it's great. But I just don't know if you can get the Skull Cavern Invasion quest. You would have to specifically get the Skull Cavern Invasion quest the week of uh the week of the festival which is you know rng and that's more of the issue oh i don't think it'll work as well as i think it is Well, that would be seated. I'm not trying to do it seated. I'm trying to do it unseated, so there's no way of doing that. You probably just bite the bullet and just do... Well, but serpents just die instantly if you're not in hard mode, even when you go to... Uh... That's not what I'm talking about. You can't you can't enable it or disable it until like I'm pretty sure you don't get access to that statue until you get until you do the Skull Cavern invasion quest once. Right? And if you don't have the skull key because you never entered floor 120 or never got to floor 120, you can't go into the Skull Caverns unless it's specifically those 3 days in spring. So you can never do the Skull Cavern Invasion quest unless if you get it on those three days. And that is more of what I'm trying to say here. I don't know how it works. As something that would have to be tested. Okay, back to ding resetting because it is a good luck to. Yeah, I know. I clicked on the door, and guess what? It said I need to kill a thousand monsters. Guess what? I haven't done yet. Killed six hundred. I went in there literally just to check that number. Why carry TV? I bought it from Robin just to, because it's on the... Uh, I bought it from Robin solely because I didn't want to go back to the island to get my tv and i wanted to check what the daily luck was because prismatic slime odds are drastically reliant on what your daily luck is 
I do have I do have pyramid luck, which is like not great, but because it could be low, it could be a low pyramid, and then it just like doesn't matter. But yeah, the song the music's never gonna play when I'm elevator resetting because the music doesn't continue when you're on floor zero, so it just resets every time I ding. If you wonder why I almost never play in-game music, this is why. But I wanted to hear any of the new soundtrack. It's less affected? Oh, that's good. Is this rock in front of me bugged? I feel like it's giving me, like, three secret notes in a row now. Oh, it's 100% bugged. What the hell? That one didn't give me it, though. 400 crit, by the way. We're looking for prismatic slime, by the way. I did accept the quest, right? Yeah. Maybe it needs to be a normal rock. Nope. Okay. It was just funny and I just got four, uh... Secret notes in a row from it. That flying bug baited me into thinking that it was a uh, prismatic slime because I saw blue instead of green. I love how the item that you get when you try to when you're trying to find the prismatic slime would drastically help finding the prismatic slime. I know there's ways to get monster musks before it now from the book seller. Which could be interesting. Oh no, that rock just gave me another one. I feel like I'm getting a little scammed here. My prismatic jelly. Uh, more annoying to find than you think, especially if they're not at a uh, good floor. Come on. This is getting depressing now.
Everybody's had this pain. Sometimes you get it right away, and other times you waste the entire day trying to get it. So sad. Uh, it fluctuates. Depends on your daily luck, your luck bonus. Uh, it has a flat percent how many slimes are on the given floor. Because, it, basically, when a slime spawns, it has a... It has the... It has a chance of becoming a prismatic. So, the slime has to spawn first. Which is the reason why we choose for... Five, it's just the highest odds of spawn or slime spawning besides like infested floors, obviously. Took you long enough. I'm gonna do the funny. Oh wait, no, I don't have the tents on me. <laughs> I was just gonna I was just gonna sleep outside of uh <laughs> the wizard's place. That's not where I wanted to go. You get tents from, uh, it's like level 9 forging, I think. This might be the tree cut, or tree event. Yeah, that was a tree falling. There was a strong windstorm last night. Well, I was gonna go down there anyways. How much faster do I run through the grass with this book? Oh, you just get full move speed going through grass. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> uh, the tree. Old tree, you can fix it with 100 pieces of hardwood. Oh, I know. Uh, I need 100 hardwood. A tree. I'll take a while. Another reason why the forest farm is the best farm. Well, all the monsters are easier to kill because I'm not on floor 120 yet. Is there more stuff on floor 120? Should I actually just go there? Monsters get 2x HP when you go to floor 120. So sometimes I just avoid going because it's bad. Yeah, it doubles their base HP. Of all monsters throughout the game.
That's why Skull Caverns was easy when I was in it for the first time during, or much easier when I was in it during uh, the festival. And also the volcano was much easier because the enemies don't have the HP increase yet. What is that coffee? <laughs> Best edition, uh, that, not really, uh, I think the books, the books are just fun. Books, the bo uh, the fact that you can have a duck bobber. I think most lackluster change so far is these mystery boxes. I kind of think they're just... Uh, until, I, until I see what their loot pool is, I feel like they're useless and really annoying to open. You gotta go to Clint's. I've opened a few and they've both been kind of doo-doo. Yes. You don't have an aqua yet. Again, I need to see the loot table for it to be 100% confident in that. But. They have felt bad so far. They're big chests. Big. It makes me, it allows me to do bigger chess monsters, which is fun. Uh huh. Oh. I mean, I guess I can try. Uh, probably. Yes. Your plan for all the Master XP? Uh. I'm pretty sure... Uh, okay. When I... Okay, I need an Aqua. When I messed with it... You could just get all the mastery XP through farming. Yeah. If you can still just get all the mastery XP through farming, then farming, because it's the best. <laughs> it's just so much quicker than everything else. Because you just sleep days and make money. Yeah, mining goes pretty hard too, but for perfection speedrun, if you just need to get the 50,000 XP, you literally just... Uh, you literally just sleep days because you got to do that for money anyways. And you'll just make more money faster once you get the uh, kegs and shit set up. Especially now that bombs are more expensive and I don't want to take the time to make explosive ammo. And the, the power-up stuff that you get from it, from the mining tree, is very expensive to craft. I don't really want to use 99 bars on it early on like gross the money is just faster uh, get the hardwood from ginger island it does
I haven't bought a dehydrator yet, so no, I have not. Found the Genomo in the wallet. It's gonna do nothing. No. Low. <laughs> Lovely. Lovely Easter egg. This is Ginger Island. I'm using the new one. Uh, apparently, once you complete the greenhouse, there's a 10% chance each night for it to start. You know, the yellow jelly and yellow wine of Starfruit wine is just so cursed. I don't like it. Not a fan. Must admit. No, I, I forgot to buy them because I wasn't really, I was more focused on doing community center shenanigans. Nah, I can do that, but I just, it's a uh, holiday. If I go to the beach, I won't be able to leave. We'll do it tomorrow. I have a classic fish smoker. No. I do not have a fish smoker yet. I uh, know classic emote. No, okay. Just... You still can't instantly skip that cutscene. How is streamer? Streamer is... How? Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if the smoker has it has its usage. I said it earlier, but I think most of the new, uh... Most of the new, uh... Oh, what the fuck? Maybe somebody will decide to move in. Okay. Uh, most of the new... Craftables, or like, processors seem okay. At the very least. I wonder if there's a 10% chance. No, I'm not. Unfortunately, taking longer than I would like it to, but... Fish foraging and fishing kind of sucks. Hungry, need fish. Muscle smoked bullhead. Okay. Well, I do need a smoker, I guess. Uh, some of the books give you power ups, others give you uh, XP. Uh, I mean, he just moved in the next day, so. 
Oh, the other thing that I want to uh, see. I want to see if he changed anything in the quarry mines. Looks the same. Oh, wait, no. Finally, a reason to upgrade something past your gold pickaxe. Or, uh, past, uh... Doing a little bit of cheating here. Literally looks like just nothing. There's two enemies over there, but I don't know if they do anything special. It's just those two bone enemies over there that... It's like, that's a... Yeah, cold nodes can be found in other areas, though. They have cold drops. Maybe they have special drops. I don't really want to upgrade my pickaxe, though. Apparently, the bait allows you to catch the fish no matter what season and time it is. So it doesn't matter if it's raining or not. The ducky is so cute, by the way. I don't know how I unlocked it. Yeah, bullhead. I love how it, like, twirls while you're throwing it. Fuck. Yeah. I know it does. I knew that it existed, I didn't know what the cutscene was. I mean, favorite thing I found is this duck bobber. Easily. Look how cute it is. I think I make a smoker now. I have all the jellies. I see to actually catch a bullhead now. Thank you. Nope, never mind. It's another fucking large mouth. Fire bullheads is rare as sturgeons. So weird.
It's aesthetic. You can change the what your bobber looks like in Willy's shop. Every bobber's aesthetic. Where bullheads go, they don't exist when you need them. Well, it is all seasons, yes. Probably just a bait, large mouth, but it could be a bullhead. Probably should have kept those green out. I'll get an infinite amount when I, uh, farm them later. Get the muscles. I've done the CC. I'm not going to do any JoJo shenanigans through this, throughout this run, so it's just going to make this run much longer. Jelly cave jelly. Oh, I need a cave jelly. Oh, we have a Ginger Island map now. Sea Jelly, Cave Jelly. I need a... Oh, I don't need jellies here, right? No, that's Powdered Melons. Yeah, this run is going to be much slower than my normal perfection runs. I'm testing out new content as I go. I brought the curiosity lure with me. One point six has been out for a day on PC. It's not out on consoles or mobile though. That you're probably gonna have to wait like two or three weeks. Uh dog, yes sir. -y. Mobile, I don't know, two years? Yeah, probably. Probably not, though. 
I think he finally got the foundation for mobile out of the way, so it's gonna be easier to update. Yeah, it really is a for fun. How are you gonna skull caverns without getting to floor 120? Uh, the new festival in spring is a skull cavern related festival, and during those three days, the skull caverns is unlocked for you. And you don't need a key. So I did my skull cavern runs during that period, and I got all the iridium I needed to complete the boat. <laughs> I did it with a copper pickaxe and a wooden mallet. <laughs> It was funny. Yeah, I think we'll end up separating the boards in terms of like paying for everything. Because you can pay for perfection for 50, for like, I, I think people have told me it's about 50 million. You can just outright pay for perfection. Making 50 million is chump change, realistically. So it's like, there'll probably be at least a little bit of a separation because of that. I don't know how yet, because I think everybody's still figuring out perfection, but. Everybody's still figuring out and playing 1.6, so it may take a while. But as of, as of now, I'm choosing, I'm electing to do nothing in terms of Joja. I think what will end up happening is you're not allowed to buy like Joja waivers, but you're allowed to go Joja Mart. Because the Joja waivers is the thing that allows you to skip perfection stuff where going Joja Mart isn't. I don't know how long it takes to smoke the fish, so I'm just going to sleep. That's like not terrible pricing. I won't really say it's good, but it's not terrible. You need a piece of coal and a fish and it uh it's a 1.5 price increase. So it adds plus 5, I think. And it keeps the quality, which is nice, but Now, maybe I find a wife. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep doing this. Yeah. Wait, hay stays? Apparently, it just doesn't grow. Which is kind of cool, but... Kind of useless for me. I don't like how it just gave me, like, powder seeds. It's kind of gross. Smoked fish is considered artisan goods. Ooh. So it has the 40% as well. That's not terrible then. I wonder how it multiplies. If it's considered artisan goods, then it's... Then your fishing perk doesn't matter as much. Do you have wife yet? Maybe I find wife. Find wife. It matters, it stacks, it's very interesting. He wants Tinder, raccoon. Uh, probably not because it takes the base price of fish into account, so you want to smoke iridium quality. Because that was an iridium quality bullhead and it continued as an iridium quality bullhead into an artisan good. So the quality drastically matters. And fish ponds remove that. Uh, once you complete the greenhouse, apparently there's a 10% chance for the quest line to start each day. That's what I've been told. 
I don't know how long it'll take for him to find a wife, but... Don't worry about it. Do you think fishing will compare to other professions like game? Oh, it's still gonna be terrible. Mining and farming will always be the best, but it is much closer now, I will admit. There's probably some, yeah, like people are, people are very much pointing out what I think is probably the best way to do it with the, you get lava eel bait, you fish for lava eels, and then you sell lava eel, or then you smoke lava eels, and then you uh, sell them. And they probably sell for just as much, if not more than star fruit wine. The issue is, is it's going to be hard to catch a lot of them, or it takes forever to catch a lot of them. And like fish ponds remove the base price of them. So they're still not like great. You really want them to be the gold quality from the mines. So catching them's annoying. So it's like, you're basically paying, you're using five spots on your farm to get one lava eel a day or i'm sorry 25 spots on your farm to get one lava eel a day it's not it's it's not very great i'm gonna be quite honest with you for good run laughing face hey for the resub lux we are trying Without artisan pork? Yeah, but you can just get one star fruit jelly and it's the same price. If not double that. Kind of just like. Love eels reproduce every five days? Oh, that's even worse. <laughs> Smoked legend? Yeah, I mean. Legend Jr. might be another strat, but we'll see. Uh... There's too many new features to realistically give you an answer. So I'll just say the bobber, the duck bobber is the cutest thing. And there's so many features I have yet to find out. So it's kind of actually just impossible to give you an answer that you would want. Being realistic. Also, uh, you're like the seventh person to ask me in the last hour or so. Yep. Yeah, I know. It's not it's not your fault. I'm just like <laughs> It's a very common question. Uh, you can get... 10k for a monster musk is very interesting. I can craft it now, so there's no point of doing it. But 10k for a monster musk is very interesting. Yeah.
I don't really know what I want to do at this point. I'm kind of at a standstill because my I'm being indecisive of what I should really be doing next. Like, I feel like I should be just sleeping days to make money, but at the same time, I really need to get the last few levels. One point six. For burglars ring. I don't really need burglar's ring to be quite honest. I only need burglar's ring for the cinder shards and I'm kind of fine without them right now. Yeah, I need walnuts. The issue is, is I really want staircases for that. Uh, mining level 9. Crystallariums. I just need money to start doing things, so I really, I realistically should start sleeping. At this point, there's really no harm of me sleeping. I'm just being too paranoid about things. For no reason. No, oh, that's new. Now, only Iridium Scythe has the harvest thing. Did the hat mouse get a house upgrade? I don't know. I have no idea if he fixed the multiple stat perfection statue glitch. I kind of hope he does so it gets people to actually do skull caverns, but I doubt it because of how it's checked. Skull caverns isn't that hard, guys. I have. It's kind of cool. It 
it's very it has very niche practical uses, but it's cool. Interesting. You can get a house plant from that. Very This is year two. Unfortunately not. I need money to get stuff to be able to do the last, uh, the last few, uh, items. Mining will just be a little bit more Skull Cavern shenanigans, and then, I mean, like, these are the worst three by far. I can probably start doing, like, I can probably start doing combat soon, but realist, or I'm sorry, yeah, combat soon, uh, and start doing, uh, monster eradication, but realistically, I'm waiting until I have the money to be able to do Skull Cavern runs. So I can get mining level 10 and then also, uh, mining level 10 and then also unlock skull caverns and do that stuff. I just need to buy bombs, but I need money to buy bombs. So right now we're kind of at the point where, uh, Yeah, we kind of just got to... Yeah, there's no crows on Ginger Island. Missed one? Oh no. I missed one, chat. Whatever will I do? I must reset the entire run because it's not a it's not efficient. Oh, woe's me. <laughs> Are you five mystery boxes? Just doing random things. They're like secret notes. They're not very good, <laughs> as far as I can tell.
Should have been zoomed in, yeah. Next time. I wonder if the guys found a wife yet. Your favorite game besides Stardew Valley? Uh. Defenders or Terraria. I wouldn't even necessarily say my Stardew is my favorite game of all time, funny enough. Really genre based. What's your favorite game of all time? Again, it's genre-based. Stardew is my favorite farming sim. League is my favorite MOBA. Terraria is my favorite, like, survival craft platformer type thing. Thunder Defenders or er, strategy game. Like, never going to give you a good answer. They all fit different needs and uh, fit different play styles that I enjoy. You know? Doesn't make sense just to say, oh, this game is my favorite. Uh, the the most objective thing I can say is I have the most, out of every game I've played, I have the most hours out of in Stardew Valley. That's the most objective statement I can say. That's the truth. I've played Civ 5. That's a good game. Not my favorite strategy, though. A little slow. That's just how those types of games are. And that's fine. Not my style. That's A OK. I need more money to be able to buy resources at this point. Uh, it's not really messing with me because I'm not trying to exploit it.
a person to ask me the same question. I think there's only one more item from the muscles. I need money. I just need money to be able to start doing other things. So right now I'm kind of just sleeping days and growing up star fruit to sell <laughs> and starting my keg empire. Making money to invest into making more money because you kind of need money in this game to proceed. But I still play Stardew Valley if they removed animation canceling. Honestly, probably not, no. If he outright removed animation canceling, I would probably stop playing Stardew. Or play on an older patch. Yeah, that ass. Like, if he patched it as soon as it was, was discovered, it would be probably different. But if he patched it now, like, if he patched it for the 1.6 update, I would have been extremely turned off by the update. I wish it wasn't raining today, but oh well. See, I'm removing animation canceling is something I know he'll never do, but it's like... If he made the decision to consciously remove animation canceling this update, yeah, it would have been a turn off. But I know he won't ever remove animation canceling. He's publicly said that. He's fine keeping things in that doesn't affect like the casual community and is fun for like the 1%. And that's what animation canceling is. It doesn't affect any other people in the community, the casual experience of the game, but it makes the 1% very happy. So it's like, it'd be, it would be extremely disrespectful and just kind of idiotic for him to do that. It's like, why would you piss off the really hardcore 1% dedicated part of your community for no reason? You know, it's just like, why would you want to do that? Your coded in for console is adding the swift enchantment to your pickaxe. Just sucks until the, you get to the volcano. Oh, I missed the bookseller. 
Do I play Stardew? No. I, I would have a very hard time playing Stardew on anything other than PC. I don't like using controllers. They hurt my hands. First off, and then second off, uh, no animation canceling. Again, I just said if animation canceling was removed, I wouldn't play the game. Just outright. So why would I play on a platform that doesn't have animation canceling? Not waiting. Uh, I can check the raccoon after, yes. Yeah. Yep, it's always been in the game. It just wasn't really pop... It just wasn't used until, uh, like, late 1.3, early 1.4. Was when it actually started getting use. I like keeping all... I like how this grass always stays because the debris can't remove the grass. So I always have a pathway down here. Oh, he has a wife. And we need fruit. Dried crystal fruits. Coconut jelly. Uh... How do I make a dryer? I need a fire quartz. That's actually really cheap. How cheap is a dryer? Coconut jelly. I have clay. My woods on the other farm. Just... Uh, it's not how clay works, but... I mean, I guess it is, but it's not necessarily how clay works. Question is, is how long will it take me to find a fire quartz? I need a single fire quartz. Having I mean, the dwarf hammer, but not being on floor one hundred or not being on floor one twenty is so weird. <laughs> I'm actually just like one shotting these guys. Normally, it takes like full combos. I'm just not going to be able to find a fire quartz stamp. Okay, well. Got to speak my mind sometimes. Wait. 
Wait, so you need- I need five crystal fruit for this. Because it's a 13 hour long VOD. The quartz. I don't really plan on making more of these. Unless uh, so if they're like actually broken and you're gonna tell me that right now. Because they are much cheaper to make than preserve jars, but I don't know how good they are. Because if you're putting five fruit in them, they are only good for berries. Okay. What's the price increase on them? Point five, I would assume. How long for processing? One day. Let's see. Yeah, that's really good for berries. <laughs> wow, this game is bad. You for the stream. I now have to find exactly a silver quality crystal fruit. Or three, no quality, yep. Silver quality, please. Crystal fruit can't spawn in Bat Cave, no. I'll deal with it later, I guess. I got distracted by the rat family, the raccoon family, that uh, I forgot to replant, and then I still needed to buy stuff. Fingers work better for this when it's up and down. I think it works better when it's... Huh. And it works better when you don't have plus two speed.
I'm gonna sleep two days. I'm gonna go to an even day, and hopefully it's not raining. Bro! Whatever. I need it to not be raining on an even day. Hammer, triple ruby. Hammer combo can't crit, so there's no point of putting any crit stuff on it, and cr triple ruby just increases the damage by the maximum. Would I reset if somebody did it right now? Yes, and I would actually be happy because I would like to start over. Why? Because this run, I've gotten so distracted with the run and I like to do things better. post uh, i'm good i'm not gonna do that i just reset it for free at that point at that point it's just asking do you guys want me to reset the run or not and it's like no may as well finish it out it's just me being my brain being i could do things better this 20 or 15 i always forget why do you have to be 20? Uh, I'm just gonna warp and get you on board. Yeah. My brain doesn't like that as much in terms of like, oh man, I could have done this so much better. You know. I passed Crystal Fruits. I was really not looking. Are you seeing new giant crops yet? No. I don't even know what crops can be giant, to be quite honest. Silver quality, please. I swear, if you're gold quality, I'm going to lose my mind. Oh. Surely, I just need to find one more crystal fruit. And surely, it's not gold quality. Thank you. Yep. Five regular. Uh, you know, well, I guess I want it to be a... That's eh, fine. I'm not, I'm not too concerned about it. Coconut jelly is even more deadly than pickled pumpkins. Yikes. Uh, 
Oh. Okay, I guess that makes sense. We need to have a greater chance of yielding mixed seeds. Now we start a family. Oh boy. Oh. I mean, I guess it's telling me that. We're gonna get raccoon babies. Um, Nook apparently moved in, yeah. <laughs> uh, bot's nest. Nope, no, no family yet. Gotta wait until spring for the family. Apparently. It's kind of nice knowing that there's a book that gives you all the Queen of Sauce recipes later for 50k, so I never have to worry about the TV again. That's actually really funny. Oh, good Oh, paw I don't think I can get four candles because I never made it to the bottom of the mines. I think I'll get three. Pleased, yeah. Do you have baby now? Nine 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 fiber for a thousand gold. Huh. I don't really want to waste the buffs. Are we gonna do the desert festival? Uh probably not. I don't really see much of a point. I'm an idiot. I can't reset this day because I get the grandpa cutscene again because it starts at the beginning of the day. I don't know how many days I have to sleep for them to have baby. No, he's pleased. He's not disappointed. Never is pleased. Nine months, yeah. The desert festival like it's a big gall cavern festival it's actually kind of cool Uh, 
I feel like people are gonna be very polarized on whether or not they like the skull cap. Oh, the little baby. Dried morels, white algae. People are gonna be very polarized on whether or not they uh like the new festival or not. Solely based off of the fact that uh if they're good at skull caverns or not. You can, but you could also just warp there with a desert totem and it's basically just as fast. You can get so many calico eggs just by spamming floor one of skull caverns. That's kind of funny. Uh, probably. I don't have a silo, so I can't tell you. I don't really ever buy silos. They're not rare. It's actually pretty, uh... I'm actually pretty surprised I got my first one now. They're 1% chance every year, so... The fact that I only have one in year three is kind of shocking. Plus, if it was uh, the chances were reduced again. Well, yeah, I'm speed running. Why would I, like, <laughs> why would I want to stay in a season that I have nothing left to do in? I'm basically at this point, all I need is a lot of money to be able to push forward through stuff. So the fastest way of doing that is to grow star fruit in sleep days. I do anything else. I don't have the door open and I Okay, normally I won't ever check the perfection tracker and perfection runs, but I just need to double check what it all says now. So I'll check it once this run, but normally I don't ever check the perfection tracker because it's useless. The percent does not really correlate to how much you have done. Almost ever.
have enough money. I'm not going to buy my way into the nut door. I'm choosing not to do any of that. Favorite season? Probably fall in this game. Where is Perfection Tracker and the Walnut Room? Oh, I mean, yeah, it's not as obvious to people who do that, and that's just how it is. I'm well aware of that. If you want to see somebody do it in the least amount of days, some guy called the Algorithm, fellow Duke crew member, is trying to do perfection in the least amount of days, which is, I believe, 120 days. Or 110. Now, with the new update. And the reason why it takes that long is literally just friendship with Kent. No, year two. You need to go to the second year specifically for Kent. Uh, so it would be 120 because year two is 112. You're right. It's 120. You need to go to year two specifically to get to Kent uh, to eight hearts. And uh, you don't need to worry about the recipes anymore in year two solely because uh, there is now a book that you can get that tells you all the Queen of Sauce recipes. So you don't. So recipes were used to be the other limiter factor, but that was completely removed this patch. So the only limiting factor is Kent. You can't do it in the first year, but you can do it in a much less days now. And fortunately enough, Kent's birthday is the first week of spring. <laughs> Which makes friendship a lot easier to do. Buy out Kent with waivers. Yeah, you can do that too. I guess. Well, I mean, like, I'm sure he's trying to, like, actually not buy any of the waivers. But.
Uh, there's nothing. Realistically, I should get rid of this scythe in my inventory. Well, the difference is, is when you scythe grass, it's more likely to go away and it will more likely give you more hay. That is it. The wiki. I, I should actually check out the wiki to see if it's still lying. The wiki says it has extra reach. It does not. Or said it had extra reach at one point. That is a complete and utter lie. It used to say it had two extra tiles of reach too at one point. I'm very much enjoying the update, yes. Yeah, I mean, I'm talking about like past. This is before uh, 1.6 stuff. Okay, we'll go to the next harvest. We'll buy our star fruit and then uh uh I will trade in Actually, it's nah, it should be cheaper for me to buy the bombs from the dwarf still in year 2. I think Whatever, I'll just buy whichever one's cheaper. Oh, I missed the book. I really need to be actively going to the bookseller. And so I'm going to get a lot of my remaining XP. Oh, you're crafting bombs now? Well, I, there, I don't, wait. How much are they now? They're a thousand each, right? Mega bombs are 1,600. Regular bombs are a thousand each. If you buy the resources in year two, they're, they're 1,000, is it three or four? Yeah, it, it's 250 more expensive if you do it in year two. Because iron is 250, coal is 250. It's cheaper year one. Yeah. Cheaper year one, more expensive year two. That said, I'm going to be bombing out. <laughs> well, I actually don't. No, I'm pretty sure mega bombs are cheaper for clearing out wood debris, which is what I'm going to do with it. Jade is for staircase. Is dried starfruit worth it? I don't think it is. Starfruit wine's better. The dryers are really good for berries from, what I, from my understanding of it. Uh, but yeah, the jades are for staircases, yes. Uh, all right, I got a bathroom real quick, so I'll be right back.
Yeah, the other thing I need to do is just sleep days to get Jade so I can do Skull Cavern stuff easier. Or, not even Skull Caverns. Uh, Danger in the Deep easier when I get the quest line. I still hate how this is a different shade. Uh, yeah, I'll do that when I go by the next round of Starfruit. You know, when you speedrun this game with the actual in-game music playing, it ends up being, like, the, the meme videos of the me channel from the Wii just, uh, never starting. Or just songs never starting. Because it's always just permanently the intro. <laughs> over and over and over again. What am I doing? Sleeping days, waiting for Starfruit to grow up. I need money at this point. It's like my limiting factor on stuff. But the fastest way to make money is to sleep days and wait for Starfruit to grow up. I mean, perfection always ends up being a little bit of a sleeping simulator, to be quite fair. This isn't really anything new. It gets to a point where you just need a butt-ton of money to be able to pay for everything to brute force. So it's going to happen eventually, and this is kind of the sad reality of perfection. I don't think there's any getting away from this. Uh, I basically stream every day that I want to. I don't have an actual schedule. Yeah, probably. Eh, yeah, maybe. I'll probably redo another perfection run and upload that instead when I actually know everything. Is probably more of what will end up happening. Because right now this has kind of been a clown show in a lot of ways. 22nd. Uh, thank you for the raid, Gabe. 
So it's like, yeah, I'll probably end up doing it again. Why am I here? All oh, right. Now where they are. Uh, I'll make a few changes at the very least. It won't be like perfectly routed. I don't ever plan on realistically doing that. But it'll be better than what it is. Figured he would have new things, and I will talk to him, but I need to sell stuff so I can buy bombs. Uh, yes, but in a worst way. Well, in a, in a good and bad way. You're more likely to get rarer stuff that we used to consider rare from the chart, but you're less likely to get the common stuff. And the main reason why it sucks for CC speedrunning is because the puffer fish used to be a 37% chance. Now it's like a 2% like the rest of the items. I wish the desert music started playing a little earlier, but so be it. Favorite NPC? Uh, I don't really care for any of them, to be quite honest. Let's say George, because he says, he basically says fuck him up during the Pierre and Morris fight cutscene, and it's funny. What do you have? Dwarver safety mana. Bombs do 20% less damage to me. That's nice. Big stone chest. That's also nice. Yeah, it kind of sucks how expensive some of this stuff is. Repair. <laughs> Your rounds go down in price. Uh, let me do math. <laughs> I mainly need to chop down trees with some of these bombs to cover off the farm for wood. Uh, 4 times 1,600 is 6,400, so it's actually cheaper to just use bombs. It's even less than I thought. I thought it was uh six bombs. Apparently it's only four. Or it's only five. Uh, probably gonna take too long. Like I'm trying to yoink in some 
foraging XP. But I just don't think it's worth it. It's not worth my time. I can get it faster. I would need a route in getting more prismatic shards because I've only gotten one. Or, yeah, I've only gotten one so far naturally. And to be fair, later on I'll be playing on a better farm. So these bombs are more efficient. suck but it's understandable why he made changes kind of the best way to say it Growing trees for XP. You don't get XP for doing this though, right? I'm more doing this for the wood. And also clearing off the farm. I, w I wish you could get XP from the bombs. It'd be so nice. If he was gonna gut how you got foraging XP from uh, the other stuff. I know. Yeah. It's, it's so hard. Forging XP is, like, by far the worst. Ironically, I think later on the best way for us to get foraging XP would just be like you keep the cabin on the left side of the farm for when you get foraging XP or when you chop down the hardwood uh, for the boat and then just do that. I mean, like how fat, how much XP is that a day? That's 25 per stump times uh, eight, the 200 XP a day for doing that. I mean, it's like almost a book a day. I don't think mahogany trees give that much XP. You want the stumps. Just how many days would that take though, if it's 200 a day? I mean, they're, they're quick days, but kind of annoying.
75 take almost a full year? I mean, to be fair, it wouldn't take a full year because you would have some XP. Funny enough, I still think summer seeds are probably our best bet. But I need so much wood. Um, eggs. I definitely don't even need. I don't even have enough. Is bombing trees in this update? No. No, you could always bomb trees. Yeah, no, but I'm talking about growing it yourself. Like, I don't- I still don't find, like, gathering this forge very useful. Like, I- I mean, like, summer seeds are still basically our best option. Second one still gives seven. Oh, that's kind of funny. Oh, that's what you meant by gathering forge. I thought you just meant around town. Yeah. Everything's time loss. It would take forever and it would be a very specific setup to be able to do it. Greenhouse has been in the game since the first, since release. Uh, with the steel axe, it still takes three cuts. Uh, don't know. I wouldn't think so, but. All right, I'm going to have to close look at upgrading to Iridium Axe. Yeah. It'll be interesting for sure. Keep forgetting to buy garlic. Oh, you do get off. A 
This many trees is definitely overkill for what I'm trying to do, but I don't really care. I'm gonna sync everything up and just wait. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about the new wine. So I need money for crab pots still. I need money for... Yeah, I need money for crab pots. I need money for a few more bombs. Money for crab pots, a few more bombs. Uh, and then I need to do... I, I just need to do a Skull Cavern Dive at this point, so I can get the Prismatics to enchant my hammer. Skull Cavern Dive, uh... I have to do... I have to get something. I forget what. Yeah, I need a morale. Uh, I guess I should go to the secret woods before I forget. For a thousand gold. Yeah, I need to get morale. Was it morale and something else? I don't remember. We're all in five white algae. Uh, no, mushrooms only need one, I think. Uh, 1.6 is pretty good. This is year three. Uh, yeah, he's probably in the south area. The extra move speed from the point five makes you too fast. So just hold down these buttons for this.
Apparently I thought I had more than I did. Uh, you gotta hold down X, and then place your mouse to the right, and then hold down right click as well. No, it was tech found a while ago, it's just really annoying to do on your hand. I've only just kind of started using it. It's also very annoying to do with basic sprinklers. It said the bookseller was today, right? I read that as the 22nd. Five white algae today. Five white algae and bookseller day. Uh, not if it's raining, then they'll kind of be mad. Well, I, I guess you would have. I wonder how much more potent becoming friends with is on a multiplier. Because <laughs> if you give a if you give a iridium quality rabbit's foot on somebody's birthday, how many more do you get? Five hearts instead, so we only have to do two gifts. <laughs> that would be uh, <laughs> very crazy. Yes, they're permanent buffs, but you can only apply them once, even if you get more books. You do need five. Bro, this is the most horrendous thing ever to do. I mean, you should, because you only need eight hearts. I can't. I need a thousand monsters killed. Everybody's getting all that book on their main file, and it's like, yeah, just go to the back rooms and pick it up right away. And then they didn't realize that they've played on the file long enough to kill a thousand monsters. Craft mushroom log thing. Oh, I guess that is a thing, isn't it? New item, go burr. And lost and hardwood. What do they need to be next to? More wild trees are nearby, the better. How nearby is nearby?
Are the raccoon like request always the same? No, okay. I need, I need, uh, dried morel for the raccoon family. Oaks? Do they work on Ginger Island? All I need to know. To find wild trees, probably n ev any non fruit tree. How often do they produce? Days, it's fine. But I don't know if you were here earlier for like the the dumb thing that I'm doing right now, but uh I I didn't realize how easy monsters were when you- oh, 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 wow, okay, these are much stronger than I thought they were. Wow. Wow, that's, like, really strong. I don't need those, but... I didn't realize how many you would get there. <laughs> Mushroom cave useless when? <laughs> Did they get forging XP? Blade, do you know? Is this our new way of getting forging XP? <laughs> Probably not, would be my guess. 5 XP per harvest or per like one that I got? So it's like, do they give 25 each harvest or do they just give 5 each harvest?
of XP per pickup. No. It's been done. You can you can complete the JoJo warehouse very early. I don't think you realize in mid max we we are on Ginger Island by like before the second week. Before the end of the second week. Yeah, is piano here? How early did piano get into it on his current run? It was like the twelfth or something, right? How early did you get it onto Ginger Island? On your mid max, how early? Raccoon hat. Now we can grow family bigger. Oh boy. 12th, yeah. So you'd have half a season to make half a mil. It's not a lot. Rain cuts out a day. Five XP each. Is that our XP farm? Like, you don't even need to put trees next to it. And they're not that expensive. 10 hardwood each. You just put down a mass of them. It's like crab pots. It sucks that you have to craft it, but it's like... Hardwood's not that bad to get. If you early plant these. And it's like, I... And... I have a bunch of moss. You just need to harvest them. I feel like we sleep. We don't sleep enough days, though. We probably, we probably just still won't get enough of them. I, I just can't see anything but the, the forgeables on the ground. Just or like the, y you know what I'm trying to say. The this summer forge still being the best. And then occasionally getting like a book. Like, obviously, if I were to redo this, I would focus on the books less because I really don't need them that early. It's kind of just crippling money for no reason. Yeah, and it's like, you also have that. So it's like, why would you not? I'm probably going to switch to uh, the Summer Forge after this round of Starfruit. Because I need, uh, I need to do that before my Ancient Fruits start getting out of hand and taking up too many tiles. Yeah, garlic's planted. We're buying perfection. Oh, it's 100% faster. It's just 50 million. 50 million is chump change. It'll be really annoying to get, but it's like you literally just do starfruit. You get to Ginger Island and do starfruit. And just buy everything else. Just buy it. That's not what I wanted to do, but okay.
I've beat him, Factorio. It's a good game. My friend group is waiting for the new update. Oh, this is an easier way to get the mushrooms. At the very least. I need to get... I need to get this wood out of my inventory. I gotta be paying attention for when it says, like, bookseller day or whatever. I don't really want to miss the books at this point. I have the money to just buy the books. Uh, for Terraria, yes. Well, not even for the worthy. I've done the harder one. I've done Get Fixed Boy Hardcore. E. I wouldn't necessarily say it's the hardest thing I've ever done, but it's up there. Uh, 
do that. We go to Pierre's. Can you get the dehydrator? I think you buy it from Pierre's for like 10k or whatever. I'm doing chill. We're vibing. I was hoping for some, uh, spice berries. and 25th. Okay. Yeah, probably. I have to cycle everything soon. Uh, it's actually really bad. I only got five spice berries. I lost several seeds from now. What the hell? Everything. I think I said 19th. Yep. Well, I'm dumb. Uh, it is a very good update, yes. It's slowly being updated, yes. I mean, there is no season change on the island. So any crop does, technically. There are big stone chests, yes. They're bought from the dwarf. Space bar.
Let's, honestly, let's try to just get level 10 in every skill at this point. Dwarf hammer. Like, I'm happy he toned down how loud the bombs are, but they are just dead silent now. I don't know how I feel about it. Blade, if you ever do seed of perfection, you, th you should think about seeding Skull Cavern invasions over the uh, festival day, or the Skull Cavern festival day. Avoid going down to floor 120 so the enemies don't have the X or the the HP multiplier, and then farm enemies that way for monster eradication. Because I was doing Skull Caverns during that without the HP multiplier, and like enemies were dying to the wooden mallet. It should make Royal Serpents not be a pain so you can get the extra thing. It's just very hard for you to do it in an unseated manner because you specifically need the Skull Cavern invasion during that week, which is just not practical. And you should also think about doing uh, the hard mode mines like that as well. Or the hard mode, yeah, the hard mode mines. And get danger in the deep before going all the way down. Because then you get, the, you get the same result. The new festival kind of like breaks a lot of the ordering that you can do. Kind of cool. Uh, mermaid's boots. Oh, well, cinder clown shoes technically, but. I don't I'm so used to buying the 25 at a time that I forget that there is full stack buying now.
think there's one more walnut from these nodes that I need to get. Perfection doesn't exist pre 1.5, so there's no there would be no way for me to attempt perfection pre 1.5. Are right, so many crab pots? Each time I harvest them, I gain five fishing XP. So I'll gain about 500 fishing XP every time I harvest them. What levels are I on? Everything's above seven.
Boom. Nope. I'm working on it. The Lux Worm Bin produces the Lux Bait. Worthless. I don't think I don't think the worm bin will ever be useful. This is still going to take forever to do, by the way. Combat and mining will come pretty quickly. When I go for it. No, it only green rains on the arm. Funny enough, I probably skipped the green rain, so... He looks different. Yeah, mushroom logs look actually pretty okay. Oh, that's kind of cute. Gives you a uh, warp totem now.
the golden coconut to cleanse is my backup plan. Golden coconuts. Fifty K a day is nothing. The one and only time I'll check this thing. Okay, it's the exact same. 18%. Cool. Anything new in here? Fireworks. No surprise, keys to the town is so cheap. Should have bought more crab pots. Uh, I haven't really felt like buying more copper, and in reality, I probably don't really need that many more. I just planted all the seeds that I had on me, and that's just how it, it happened. So many, I need fishing XP.
Once I hit level 9 fishing, I still have to do this 10 more times. Then we'll have enough. Also, new update? Eh, good. We're kind of at the worst part of perfection runs. We're just waiting on money and we gotta do like a bunch of just random crap. Year three. We love crab pots. Is our current skill level? Uh, pretty high. We just need the last few levels. And three of our skills, four of our skills. Like, farming's always gonna be level 10. I need one more in mining. I need like three more in combat. I need two more in fishing and two more in uh. uh forging. Level 10 and all, yeah, which is kind of annoying. I thought it was going to be easier to get level 10 in all skills, but I need a lot of money to be able to do uh, a few of the skills. So it just ends up happening so late. Compared to when I would like it. I mean, it depends on how much mining you're doing. I mean, I haven't started going for a monster eradication yet. I'm kind of waiting for getting uh, danger in the deep or uh, it's called cavern invasion. Cause I want to start monster eradication goals. How many non spearum files do I have? None. Well, technically one, but none. I have my original file that I played back on 1.0 on. And I've not loaded that up in ages. 
that I do not play on it. I don't play this game off stream. Of course I kept it. I play anything off stream? Yes. Don't play Stardew off stream. So nice having these tiles not disappear now. I think a lot of the books just take too long to get for the XP. It's like, it's nice when I go there and just pick up the books when I'm trying to buy something else from the bookseller. But like purely going to the bookseller for XP is like kind of just bad. It's like, realistically, I should only buy the, I don't even want to buy the combat books because I'm just going to get combat 10 when I'm doing monster eradication. It's like really only forging levels that is like a hassle to do. Shame. Uh, Forge is not even level nine yet. Ah, uh, it's so sad.
You get two from the first one. If you pick one up with the forager perk, uh, you get the full seven. So probably each forge pickup averages probably like three, four XP each. Compared to the before where it averaged like 10. Yeah, five purple mushrooms for less than an eight, less than a star fruit wine. Big money, yes. All right, only ten more. <laughs> we only gotta we only gotta go through those uh, crab pots ten more times. People are reacting to clay farming being gone. Just wait until somebody tells them that uh, <laughs> tea saplings also got cut in half. It's not like clay farming is entirely gone. Gotta change the setting. Saplings and clay farming is half of the <laughs> fandom's personality. Uh, I can agree with the tea sapling part, but I don't think hey, clay farming is. But uh. They are happy. Oh, I forgot to. Ah, oh, whatever. Surely I don't get it this week anyways. I don't know how much longer I'll go, guys. I went really long yesterday, and it was not good. Oh. I hate the fact that I just... Whatever. Whatever. I wish I transformed all my jades into staircases. It's fine. I will just sleep until Saturday and then just ladder down all the floors for Sunday. I could have just done it now. I'll probably end up doing the Danger in the Deep quest tomorrow. I'm kind of getting to that point. What's Legacy RNG? RNG used to not be so random on what on 1.5 and before. Uh, so CA decided to make it actually like more random, and it changed a lot of mechanics that people abused, like clay farming, and for speedrunning purposes and for just the try hard 1%, he gave us a legacy RNG button, which reverts a majority of the changes. Not all of them, but a majority of the changes. Cart changed, but it doesn't revert the cart. Cart had a few weird quirks about it, which allowed for other for items to have really high uh green rain is the spending upon the valley, which allowed for uh the traveling cart to have really high odds for s uh specific items. Most notoriously the puffer fish, which kind of ruins CC speedruns. You lose about a minute to two 
to now or to it now on current patch just outright only a hundred I kind of regret not buying more With that said, I think I think now is probably a good time to stop. I'm like five and a half hours into stream. I need a break. My wrist is actually starting to hurt a little bit. Too much gaming. 13 hours yesterday was uh, not great. And I would like to get food. So we're going to call it there. I think it's fair. Uh, that said, yeah, I'll be back back on tomorrow doing more runs or continuing this run. I just need a break. Got 13 hours yesterday. Uh, I don't remember the last time I streamed that long, so like that. Uh, yeah. So YouTube, thank you for watching. Um, I'm gonna send you guys off so I can read on Twitch. But I will be back on tomorrow. Hopefully the VODs will be up soon. Apparently yesterday's stream was so long that Jada had to cut the VOD into two parts. So it is taking long to get up on the VODs channel than we would like. Uh, yeah, I that. Appreciate you guys watching. Hope you guys have a great rest of your evening or rest of your day. Stay safe out there and just take care. Later. All right. Let's see who is on. For you guys twitch i'm sure like everybody's on joe just started we're gonna rake joe just to make him uh not procrastinate and play the game he's also kind of speed running but not really speed running kind of like me uh but yeah i need a break that's it uh yeah appreciate you guys uh watching the stream i will be back on tomorrow uh doing more of this same time yeah i don't got much else to say appreciate you guys watching hope you guys have a great rest of your evening or rest of your day stay safe out there and just take care later peace